And so you guys won the other day, but you probably didn't get to the free throw line as much as you normally do and, and lost the battle on the boards and the paint. Really turned that around today. Uh, 34 free throws plus 18 on the boards, tough in the paint. Was that a heavy area of emphasis going into this game? And your, your thoughts overall on that? Yeah, I mean, we coach preached on uh, and practice a lot. Like they got shot, I mean, shot blockers, uh, angels leapers. So, and most so of us attacking the paint and getting them off their feet and going to the line. And that's what we did. Yeah, um, that was one of the things we worked on all week is pump faking, anxious sleepers, finishing at the rim. And, and we knew that they were one of the better shot blocking teams in the country. So we knew we had to get them off their feet and we knew they were going to leave their feet. So that was one of our focuses coming into the game. I think uh, JD played three minutes in the first half and then Devo came in. Uh, you guys were, I think, plus five in his 16 minutes. Just what did you think of his the energy that he brought? I know he didn't necessarily shoot the ball well, but he was pretty active, I thought. Um, yeah, we all know Devo is a great player. Um, he's a great defense player, offensive player. He can manage the game. He can shut down the, the best player on their team. So when Dio comes in the game, we know that he can handle himself and he can for sure run the team. Yeah, I, I would say the same thing. When, uh, when Dio gets in the game, we just know that momentum is going to change on defense as well. Uh, he prides himself on that a lot. And um, uh, he don't really think too much of offense. We, it's just, we just know he's going to give us all. So up, you, you, when you were a pit, I think I got this right. You were 0 2 against West Virginia. Didn't have real good games against them. Um, was that a little extra motivation for you today? What was it like beating these guys and having a big game against them? Man, uh, it was just the, the memories we had playing them because of the rivalry at Pitt. Um, just knowing this game was a is a statement game, and that's what I was just pride myself on when coming into the game. Man, it felt great. It felt real good to be 0-2 at Pitt and then come and join these guys and actually beat down on them. And then, uh, J uh, Jalen, what did you think of, of Adisa's game today? Um, Deese had a great all-around game, but we know Deese is going to do that. He's going to have an efficient game. He's going to play hard. He's going to defend their best or second best player to get during the game. Um, Deese is such a great player when he's playing hard, and, and he had one of those games tonight, and we need him throughout the rest of the season to do the same thing. What you give you? Yeah, you were scoring, getting rebounds, playing pretty good D. Uh, had some nice passes. What did you think of your all-around game? <laughs> uh, I mean, I I think I did pretty good. Uh, probably should have did better, you know. But just with these guys, just being out there with them is having fun, and that's and I couldn't do it without them. It, it looked like you guys were going to run away with it there in the second half, up by 19. They responded with a 16 to two run to tighten it up. Uh, just curious what you saw during that run, and then you guys obviously called a timeout and then kind of regained control pretty quickly afterwards. Yeah, um, I think I had a couple turnovers in that. We had a couple team turnovers. We weren't taking smart shots, and of course we weren't defending as good as we could. So we really just took a timeout, slowed down, talked to each other. Just We know what we had to do, and we just slowed down, came back out of the timeout, ready to play, ready to finish off the game. And I feel like that timeout was really needed for us. It's just, yeah, it's just like, like Jay Wilson, it's just part of the game. Uh, Teams gonna go on runs. Uh, it's just a matter of time is when you are gonna stop their runs from going so long. So, South or uh, West Virginia helped that out by missing some shots. But what what you think of your rebounding game? And Adis, what what you when he gets to them? If you could, what what you think of his rebounding? Man, uh, J Will, <laughs> he, he he a monster on the boys, man. Uh, he been he been re, he been rebounding very well at a high level at that. Um, and it's just it's just showing at the last couple of games without him rebounding, you know, telling if we were to get the W or not, because lo a lot of teams used to beat us on on the offensive glass and defensive glass, and he capitalized on that. Yeah, coming into this game, we knew uh, West Virginia was a tough team. They have a lot of great offensive rebounders and rebounders overall. So I know this game that had to be one of my focuses of just getting rebounds, helping the team out, and just playing, boxing out the five man. So that was one of the focuses coming into the game to make sure we got a lot of boards. And then I know they're West Virginia struggling through obviously a quality program. How how big a game do you win? Do you think this is for you guys in the big picture? Your your net's going to keep going up, I would think, after this, and you're getting back in the NCAA tournament talk. Just how big a win do you think this was? And where do you feel about where you guys have moved up to from probably being close to 100 in the net to probably in the 40s somewhere? Yeah, um, every win at this point is a big win for us because we put ourselves so far behind. So. Just, we just got to keep going, never settle, never be okay with where we're at. We just got to keep playing hard, keep getting better, keep winning. Yeah, uh, every game, every game matters, you know. Uh, 
whoever step on the court is is a challenge, you know. Uh, and we just capitalizing on that every every moment we get to get a chance to play against another team. This starting lineup that you guys have been using just like overwhelms teams. I feel like at the beginning of the games, maybe the start of second halves too. Why do you feel like that 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 five in particular has been so effective? Yeah, um, to me, I think that we just got five on the court that's ready to play, ready to hustle, ready to defend, and we're all unselfish guys. So I, we go out there and we do whatever the team needs. We know JD's gonna get us a bucket. We know D's gonna defend. Trey's gonna play smart. Stan's gonna get a bucket. Like we just all know like what we all can do, and we're ready to play with each other. So we just play hard. When they closed it, uh, the gap, I, I got to double check my notes, but I think you scored five or six in a row. What, what do you remember about that? And kind of, you know, kind of take it over there uh, for a little while. Uh, it was just taking taking opportunities. Uh, you know, uh, Coach said like they don't, they really don't like the guard, and they over aggressive on defense, and we just utilized that, and I just got open opportunities and making count. You know, obviously JD only plays three minutes. But he goes out, you guys were up by six, I think. Then you're up by nine. So you extend the lead without him. And then he played a pretty good second half. How do you think you guys played without him? And how good was it to have him for the second half? Uh, we, we played pretty we played pretty well. Uh, like Coach said, I, one, man, one man come out, next man up. You know, uh, And we handled it very well. And when he got back in the game, the momentum even changed even more. Yeah, um, <clears throat> of course, next man up. But Having JD off the court is a big loss for us. He's the best scorer in the SEC, if not one of the best scorers in the country. So um, just having JD off the court and his defense too, but having JD off the court, we just know it's next man up and we just got to all be ready to play. You guys went up against a coach with 913 wins, I think. Either one of you are both, uh, does that add something special to the game? Man, I'm just playing. Every game, <laughs> every game is a big game for me. We just got to win. And I knew he was a legendary coach. and. I knew that they were going to come at us with uh, a lot of good sets or a lot of good plays, but we just played hard, and it was a big win for us. Final question, Bob. Yes, uh, do you think you guys are just – you held another team under 40%, I think, unless the stat broadcast was – was 38.2, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, what do you think about that? I mean, that's a pretty incredible streak. That's probably more <laughs> impressive than the winning streak. Uh, it was just – Enough was enough. Uh, you know, uh, coach kept preaching to us about that. Like we dead last in a, in a, a nation with that, and we just pride ourselves and said enough is enough, and we just came together and started racking them stops. Yeah, we knew uh, defending would be a big thing for us, and we knew we had to start defending if we wanted to win games. So we were prioritizing that, mm -hmm. and I feel like everybody's been locking in on defense, trying to get stops, trying to trying to get kills on defense. So it leads to a lot of good offense, also, but. That's just been one of our main things we've been focusing on. Bet Online would like to wish you a happy new betting year as we continue our march to the playoffs and beyond. Bet Online remains the number one spot for all the best sports wagering action for 2022. New year and a new updated desktop and mobile wagering to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use our promo code BELIEVE to get started. That's B L E A V. From football, basketball, hockey, boxing, and UFC right to your favorite Vegas casino games. Don't wait to take advantage of all the amazing offers available for 2022. Bet Online is the fastest and easiest way to wager on all your favorite sports. Bet Online, where the game starts.